Today we are going to be learning about dividing a whole number by 10. A whole number is any positive number, starting from 0. Like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, are all whole numbers. Dividing a number by 10 will make it 10 times smaller. For example, let's say something like 30 divided by 10. One way to think about this is we are taking the number 30 and we are dividing it into groups of 10. So let's see how many groups of 10 it takes to make 30. One group of 10 is 10, so that's not enough. Plus a second group is 20, plus a third group is 30. So it means that 30 can be thought of as 10 plus 10 plus 10, or three groups of 10. So if we divide 30 by 10, we end up with three groups. Let's look at another example. Let's go with 110 divided by 10. Again, we are taking 110 and dividing it into groups of 10. So let's see how many groups of 10 it takes to get to 110. So we have 1 group is 10, 2 groups is 20, 3 groups is 30, 4 groups is 40, 5 groups is 50, 6 groups is 60, 7 groups is 70, 8 groups is 80, 9 groups is 90, 10 groups is 100, and finally, we have that 11 groups is 110. And this is our solution. If we have 110 and we divide it into groups of 10, we end up with 11 groups. We can also use a place value chart to easily divide a number by 10. What is place value? Place value tells us how much each digit in a number represents. This chart represents the values, ones, tens, and hundreds. For example, the number 5 in the ones place has a value of 5. But if we move the 5 to the tens place, we now have 5 tens, or the number 50. And if we move that 5 over one more time to the hundreds place, we now have 5 hundreds, or 500. Using this place value chart, we can easily divide a number by 10. Let's use it to look at one of the numbers we already tried. For example, let's look at 30 divided by 10 again. When we place 30 into our chart, we have that there are 0 ones, which is 0, and 3 tens, which is 30. 30 divided by 10 was 3, remember? Well, we can get the same answer if we move all the digits one place value to the right. The three in the tens moved one place value to the right and became three ones. And the zero in the ones also moved to the right, but it would move after the decimal, which would be 3.0, which is the same as three. That's why we don't need to write that zero. We can cross it off. So our number, instead of being three tens, when we divided by 10, became three ones. Let's try something like 630. If we divide 630 by 10, we are going to move everything one place value to the right. So the six hundreds will become six tens, three tens will become three ones, and that last zero we can cross it out and pass it after the decimal. 
so we can say that 630 divided by 10 is equal to 63, or 6 tens and 3 ones. And? Did you understand everything? Great! Let's look at another example together. How much is 320 divided by 10? What we have to do is to move everything one place value to the right. So the three hundreds will become three tens, two tens will become two ones, and as always we don't write the last zero. So we can say that 320 divided by 10 is equal to 32, or three tens and two ones. How much is 50 divided by 10? That's right. The answer is 5. How much is 310 divided by 10? You are right again. The answer is 31. How much is 290 divided by 10? That's correct, the answer is 29. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.